Hello, welcome to my Adobe Photoshop Sheets for tutorial. This is a thing we'll be making today. Let's make a new file. Here we got our basic eye. And starting. Let's see. Oh, this basic. Go to the pen tool. Select the second option and the first option. At the final one, the last option. Now I like to zoom in. Take the pen tool. And just start dragging around the eye. Sorry. So we almost got our eye. And there we have it. Whoa, little correction. There we have it. Right mouse click, make selection. Set the feather radius because we're doing an eye to 3 pixels. Press OK. Now you see we have selected our eye. Let's go to actual pixels. Press Ctrl plus U to bring up the U saturation board. Press colorize. Put the saturation up as far as you want. And select the color. Let's see, today I'm going for a nice hold on orange. Now go to well, the gradient tool. Okay, I've already done it, so I will redo it. Okay, take the first one. Set the right one to 0%. It's here, the upper one. And the left one, select the color you want to get to the inside of the eye. Let's see, I don't go too far off it because that won't be nice. Zoom in. Set the mode to color. Make sure you have first off select the second option. And here we got it. Zoom out again. 100%. This is what our eye look like. It's not a, a masterpiece, but you can do it however you want it. I've made dark eyes, uh, gaming eyes, dark eyes, it, it is whatever you want. Now if you're doing a magazine you don't have to follow the next steps. Go to select inverse. Go to this button over here, it's under the layers thing. See, here. And select curves. I see nothing happens yet. But it only makes a new layer. So just drag this line out as far as you want. You can make it to black. But I will be going now for this color. Okay, without width. It is however you want it. And usually I said. The opacity just a little bit down to like 63%. Delete the background layer. Don't know why I had that. So here you uh, got our eye. I hope this tutorial helped you with your newest eye. And hope I see you next time. Thanks for watching this tutorial.